Hello everyone, today's topic is damping. Very important for dynamic simulation, damping is the loss of energy in a dynamic system by dissipation. Mechanical damping are first viscous damping from fluid resistance, frictional damping between parts, material damping is molecular friction and magnetic damping. Important characteristics for damping is damping ratio zeta. It is a dimensionless value of actual damping divided by critical damping. Only for information, for spring damper mass system is critical damping equals two times mass times omega or two times mass times square root of stiffness divided by mass. Damping ratio can be defined as constant in analysis or as frequency dependent value. Another characteristic is Rayleigh damping with alpha damping, it is mass proportional and beta damping, stiffness proportional. Usually you enter alpha and beta factors in FAM software. The total value of damping is calculated from constant damping plus alpha and end beta damping. Methods for calculating or estimating of the damping ratio Simple test with free oscillation is logarithmic decrement method. Amplitudes are measure, measured and logarithmic decrement is calculated with formula 1. Then the damping ratio can be determined with formula 2. Another method is the half power band bandwidth method. A harmonic measurement, maybe with a shaker, is used to run the frequency range and determine eigenmodes with associated amplitudes. Then delta from natural frequency is calculated. Frequencies 1 and 2 are the amplitude divided by the square root of 2. After this, factor Q calculated and follow it calculated the damping ratio. Half power bandwidth method is not so simple, but logarithmic decrement method I can test it at home. For this, I take a metal ruler and let it oscillate it. Now I have amplitudes and can calculate with formula 1 logarithmic decrement. Logarithmic decrement is 0 0.0377 and damping ratio from my metal ruler is 0 0.006. Of course it is only an uh, optical measurement by eye. Here in table you can see typical damping ratios for steel, another metals, constructions, rubber. So no Torale damping. Determining alpha and beta is not as simple as, as damping ratio. Assuming that the bot mods have the same damping ratio, we can calculate alpha and beta with, with formula 3 and 4. But only if bot mods have the same damping ratio. So first I need natural frequency from metal ruler. To do this, I, st I start new project in PrepoMax and import CID from ruler. Here are the surfaces, create component part and mesh it with quad elements. One side is fixed. For this, I create a not set. The free oscillation length is the same as in the previous test, 20 cm. Material is elastic steel. with density. Frequency step.
number of requests is three. First three mods, boundary condition fix on node set. Run simulations. Here is your natural frequency one, 10.55 Hz. Frequency 266.14 and frequency 3. But I need for my calculation uh, first and second frequencies. Now with formula 3 and 4 we calculate alpha and beta for ruler. Alpha is 0 0.686 and beta is 0 0.0000249. I am going back to PrepoMax and will simulate dynamic load case with Rylai damping, similar to test with ruler. First I need amplitude for force, time amplitude, at time 0.5 second is force 1 and after time 0.5 is force 0 and only free oscillation. Create new step, dynamic step. Implicit. Define damping tube, Rylite, with alpha and beta from formula 3 and 4. Increment tube direct, constant time increment, time period. 2 second with initial time increment 0 0.01 second. Deactivate first step for modal analysis. Next I need force. Select few nodes at the top of the ruler in Z direction with 0 0.05 Newton and at amplitude. Finally, history output, displacement for node at the top, top of ruler. Run simulation. Results. Plot displacement. You can see force up to time 0 0.5 seconds and after is free oscillation with damping. Animation. In the same way, we can estimate it alpha and beta for rubber. Rubber damping ratio is 0 0.05, so alpha is 5.6, 5.6 and beta is 0 0.0002. Start simulation again. Results. You can see damping has become higher than with a steel roller. If you define steady state dynamic step, it is harmonic excitation between lower and upper frequencies. Here you can use damping in three ways constant damping ratio. Direct damping ratio, uh, that is damping depending on modes, mode damping. And a Rylai damping with alpha and beta coefficients. It was for today. See you next time. Bye bye.